Hey guys, so in this video I'm using Kagura as a support while I'm playing against a pretty decent trio while I'm solo. Their team decided to use the superior 1 3 1 formation while our team went for this low 1 2 2 formation. What makes the 1 3 1 formation a bit more superior than the 1 2 2 formation is because their core carry will be able to farm and rotate a lot faster and also they can play way more aggressively right from the start. While the 1 2 2, which means 2 in the middle, will be a bit delayed in thermal rotation, which you will be able to clearly see later into the game. As you can see, the enemies have 3 in the middle lane, so they can clear the wave a lot faster. They were smart enough and noticed we only have 2 in the middle lane, so they will use this number advantage and invade our red buff. But because we decided to use the outdated formation, there's nothing we can do about it. You can see we are way behind in terms of rotation. Their core is already way ahead in goal and experience and is already ganking the other lanes because he was able to clear everything so much faster. But it's not too late to gank right now because I'm about to get my level 4 and our Sable also has his ultimate. And before I noticed their Cho was in low HP and Link used his ultimate, we can definitely turn this around. Saber and I are going to make one of the most epic play in the history of Mobile Legends. Okay, doesn't matter. I can still kill the Cho instantly and retreat safely because I know Ling already used his ult. But honestly, it should have been a double kill if only Saber also went to ult Ling as well. Oh well. Leomo is about to use one of his deadly secret techniques, the auto aim no jutsu. You can see he's not looking in my direction, so that indicates that he wasn't even aiming his ultimate at me. That's why guys, always auto aim, that thing is broken. Anyway, back to the gameplay. Here you can see our dual lane lost to a solo Cho. Now things are starting to look extremely interesting. Now let's see if we can avenge our dear Dogo, because you know, those who hurt our pets deserve divine punishment. Here I had to decide if I should try keep pushing the middle lane or save our Dogo. But because I'm a pet lover without a pet, I chose the latter. I noticed that Link doesn't have his blue buff, and a Link with no blue is like a man without a functioning tool, if you know what I mean. Winky face. This Leomar is trying so hard, but in the end it doesn't even matter. Our bottom lane didn't notice they were too deep, and the enemy's middle lane was already on the way to gank them. I tried to send the retreat signal, but it was in vain. Now my only choice is to try to savage what is left from them.
I am forced to keep going back to the bottom lane to defend it. But at this point, our top lane should I switch with our bottom lane and push the bottom lane instead. They already got the top lane turret. There's nothing else to do there for now. The rotation is so bad that poor Martis has to end up sacrificing his life. But don't worry, I alone will be able to defend it and make one of the most epic 1 vs 3. I mean 1 vs 4. Okay, maybe next time. At this point, the game is pretty even, but you already know how strong Kagura is in the late game. But they also have a Ling that can die for a backline and kill our marksman instantly. But we also have a Saber to counter that. But they also have a Esmeralda. Yup, it will come down to who executes better. Here, I'm going to do the perfect calculation and stun Link right after his ultimate animation is over. I messed up. Please close the video. I have embarrassed my entire generation. My team was smarter than me here, instead of trying to invade Link's buff, they decided to use this chance while he's being distracted taking the blue buff to kill the lord instead. I mean, usually that's what I would do, but I was testing my teammates IQ and in-game decision. Yup, they passed with flying colors. <clears throat> And as always, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing, or you will be a disappointment to your future generation as well. Thanks.